Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. All right, we got a good topic coming in that I've discussed many, many, many times. And, and this one is a, uh, in your own words, and it comes to us from, a ja from Jack Roberry. all right? And Jack says, Don, I have been a Sergite for a number of years and have seen my game improve over time. While I still have a way to go, I recently discovered a solution to a problem you have discussed in your daily videos. Okay? I have worn multifocal glasses since 1995. We're talking bifocals and trifocals now. And what have I always said? Can't play golf with them. All right? About two months ago, he was on vacation, and he said he was having a bad day on the practice area. I was striking, I was shanking, slicing, pulling, etc. I took my glasses off, which is his multi-lenses, recalling the many times you have stated that, that you cannot play golf with bifocal glasses. I decided to simply hit the ball without my glasses. I could see the ball. While it was a little blurred, I decided to try and hit the ball. Amazingly, I was able to make better contact, solid, straight, and high, and high with pitching wedges. There was another golfer on the practice area, and he commented on how much better my shots were. He knew I was having problems making contact. I explained that I'd taken my glasses off. While he thought it was funny, he confirmed that my shots were much better. The downside was I couldn't see the ball in the air too well. While I was pleased with my discovery, I knew that I couldn't play without my glasses. Later that evening, I wondered how could I solve this pro resolve this problem. Your thoughts on bifocals were correct. I would rather say they are correct. I got that from, from, from optometrists and ophthalmologists. The next day I went out to the pharmacy and tested the reading glasses, not prescription ones. Those are the ones like you can, you can buy in these little packages, like this is one of them, which I keep in case uh, some of these things come in with real small writing. When I print them down, I might need it. I, I always keep these in my pocket for reading, for reading, and that's what he's talking about. The next day I went to the pharmacy and tested the reading glasses, not prescription ones. I compared the reading glasses with my multifocal glasses and noticed a change in seeing the ground. I purchased the $10 glasses, went back to the practice facility. I couldn't believe the improvement. While I can't read the scorecard and with reading glasses, I can see the ball. Seeing the ball in the air is no problem. I worked on this for a few days, and there is no question that I have improved my game a lot. I now wear the reading glasses on the course, driving range. As soon as I am finished going, I wear my multi focals. It took me a long time to figure out the solution. Thanks for the tip. I now hit the ball straight and make better contact. I'm 69 years old and will be having cataract surgery on both eyes this year, and most likely I won't have to wear glasses at all in the future. I thought this information may help some of your surgites who have to wear bifocals. Well, hopefully it does, Jack. So he found, he found out the secret. He went and found himself a pair of glasses that he could see the ball better without having to have to change his setup. What happens when you're wearing bifocals and trifocals? You have to put your head down too much to look over the top of them because the distance part, remember bifocals and trifocals are only meant for no more than about 16 inches to read in front of you, all right? Holding up the paper or a book or whatever, all right? You gotta put your head down. As soon as you do that, your chin comes down. It, it stretches your neck downward. Your shoulder is now, is gonna bump into your chin and, and very likely you have a chance of, of stopping you from going vertical enough and or pulling you down and around inside. And because of that, it takes your neck and back out, it tends to, your, your shoulder's hunched. So now you're, 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 you're in poor posture, which is gonna put a lot more strain on the back, all right? Especially in the lifting and, and, and starting the downswing. So it takes your whole body out of dynamic balance. So what's the answer? Well, let's assume that this is a regular pair of glasses, all right? And uh, anytime you play golf, you should have glasses that come all the way down and pretty much touch your cheeks. So that way, so that way you can hold your head up high. Because if you hold, if you're standing here with your eyes looking straight out and you bend in and get into down and get into good posture, you could, you're not looking out the middle here, right? Because my eyes are looking straight out here. If I, if I kept my eyes right there, I'd still have to pull my head down to see it even if I didn't have bifocals. So you got to come back here. And, and your eyes are in a ball and socket joint. They can move around up and down. You got to stand here, get in good posture, and make your eyes go down. So my eyes are looking very through the bottom of these, of these glasses right here. So that's another reason why that even if you don't have bifocals, and especially if you do, you can never really stay in dynamic balance with your head to the rest of your body because you got to put your head down and look over the top of the bifocals. And when you don't have them, 
you got to you have to do what? Make sure that you make your eyes go downward in the ball and socket joint. So if you still have to want to keep bifocals, what do you do? One of my students had a major discovery just like uh, Jack did over here. He took, he reversed them. He had his, he had his uh, optometrist take his reading part and put it up at the top. He had big, huge glasses like this, and he had a, and this is when he still only had lines. He took the reading and he, and he put the reading at the top, and he kept, he kept the bottom for the distance to see the ball on the ground and, and better in the air. There's always a way out of this. If you still want to have them in this class, just flip them, okay? But again, there's a go. He, Jack saved, changed uh, it's his whole thing for ten dollars. Now, if you do that flipping on this thing, that's going to be a heck of a lot more expensive. But <clears throat> if that if that's the way you want it, it's better be worth the, the the difference to you. So that why when you keep your head up proper in in the proper height and have your eyes look down, your 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 arms can lift all the way to the shoulder. You can stay nice and vertical and have a good dynamically balanced swing and hit those better shots. But vision is critical. Very, very critical to see the ball and nothing moves. That's how you can stay here and, and, and make the good swing and up, down, and back up. All right? Well, that's the secret how to fix yourself if you need bifocals to play golf or trifocals, okay? That's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.